Reasons why Peter Obi says he will give President Bola Tinibu excellent pass mark for keeping his campaign promises. This is a serious matter. Could this be a mockery or a fact of a work well done? So guys, if you are just joining us, you are welcome to Bliss Channel. Please kindly do well to share your opinion on the comment section below. And do not fail to like and share and subscribe to Bliss Channel. So guys, let's quickly hear the content of the report. The 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has lamented over the economic crisis plunging the nation. Nigeria, speaking during an appearance on Arise TV, Obi stated that President Bola Tinibu has kept to his campaign promises very well. The former Anambra state governor asserted that during the president's campaign, he consistently promised that he would continue from where his predecessor, the person of Muhammadu Buhari, stopped. And that is what President Tinibu has exactly done. Peter Obi maintained that he would call President Tinibu an excellent pass mark for living up to his promise. According to him, President Tinibu has kept to his campaign promises. Throughout the campaign, he consistently maintained that he will continue from where Muhammad Buhari stopped and he has done very well. In this regard, even better than Buhari's regime. Peter Obi said he will give President Tinibu excellent pass mark because of the fact that and recall that dollars that used to be 460 naira is now 1500 naira fuel that used to be 238 naira is now about 700 naira also, diesel that used to be that used to sell for eight hundred and forty-four naira is now one thousand four hundred and fifteen naira. A bag of rice that used to sell for forty to thirty-five thousand naira is now about eighty thousand naira which is far above the reach of so many Nigerian citizens, except the politicians. In his analysis, he said, same has, same has gone to beans, that a bag of beans that used to be sold for 40,000 naira is now about 90,000 naira. Also goes to Gary that used to be sold for 27 to 28 naira is now 49 to 50,000 naira a bag. As for tuba of yam that 
used to be sold for 27,000 naira is now about 10,000 naira in the market. As for basket of tomato, that used to be about 40,000 naira is now about 150,000 naira. As for electricity, that used to be 66,000 naira per kilowatt is now about 200 naira per kilowatt. He said it goes on and on that Nigerian debt has also increased. He also said that even bread, which is the basic things other countries are subsidizing, like Egypt, like small bread was used to be 450 naira is now 900 naira. The big one that was 900 is now 1,500, 1,800 naira. And so from his own analysis, he concluded that there is, there is no doubt President Tinibu has done very well in his campaign promises, thereby further putting the nation into serious economic crisis and adding more pains to Nigerian citizens. As a result of this report, some Nigerians have reacted that they can't see any lies in this analysis and that President Tinibu has really kept to his promises. So guys, how do you see to this matter? What is the way out of this mess this present political leaders has put this nation into? Please kindly feel free to share your thought, your opinion on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you for your time. <music>